What's going on guys? Welcome back to the BB Gaming YouTube channel. I am Toasty Keys, and this is going to be the third part in our video series on how to reach millennia in Elden Ring. So, get started. Right away, we're going to go right back to the Grand Lift of Rold, which we already have a video on, and I will link in the description below. Go to the place, make sure on your D-pad you switch the action to hoist the secret medallion. This will take you to where you need to be, and it will allow you to hoist the Hailing Tree medallion that we just got. Alright, so we pretty much just kind of run straight until we hit our first left here. Um, I'll speed it up a little bit just to make it go kind of fast, there's nothing really interesting right here. But these ruins are really cool, as you can see we're on the hidden path to the Halig Tree, so I'm not leading you astray. But these, these ruins or catacombs or whatever you want to call them are really cool, and when you get some time, when you're not busy trying to reach millennia, I would really suggest coming back here and exploring. So as you can see, we hit our first left here and head up these stairs. Watch out for these uh, these little dudes that are going to try and stab you. There is a giant octopus monster hanging right above this doorway, so just kind of go to the left so you don't get smushed. Go up the stairs, go up the right, and boom. Easy clap. There is our first sight of grace. This is where it gets a little tricky. So as you go up these stairs, you realize you can't see a dang thing. So what you're gonna have to do is literally just continue as straight as you possibly can. You don't want to veer off too much to the left, too much to the right. If you do, you want to make sure you correct it. So if you go off to the right, make sure you kind of go back to the left a little bit. Not too much, not too much. You just kind of want to keep going straight. Don't veer too much from the path. There is a little kind of road you can follow, but it's a little tricky and a little vague. So just kind of just kind of trust your gut and go straight. Um, I don't really think there's anything crazy you're going to encounter if you uh, go off too much. But, um, you know, you'll be alright. So as you can see, we're just kind of, we're just kind of running. We're just kind of running away from all these things that are attacking us. Going down this way, we spawned a giant dude don't like that guy so we're just gonna keep running so I was running left so I, I turned right through that crack in the rock just to kind of correct myself a little bit get myself back on path so we're, we're kind of in the general area here not too crazy to fall off this cliff and then uh as you can see, it kind of clears up a little bit. So this is where you know you're you're uh, you're in the right spot. Um, that that little snowstorm area is a bit of a doozy, but once you're out of there, it's it's not too bad. So just on the other side of this rock, on the left, actually, um, as you can see, the the little trail of glowing rocks it leads you right to the bonfire, or right to the site of grace. Sorry. So once you light that. We're going to pretty much head directly north again, and that will take us right to the Ordina Liturgical Town. And as you can see, it's pretty much a straight line from the previous side of Grace to this one. So again, just try and go as straight as possible. Alright, let's head across this uh, frozen river here. And uh, I, again, I'll, I'll speed it up a little bit. Um, and we're just going to head right to the liturgical town, and that's where our, our next kind of puzzle is. Alright, so now that we're in the town, we're making our way through, you want to go to the back of the town, there's this long staircase, and then there's kind of this Everjail entrance uh, that we'll come to right here. 